Now, the former Pope, Benedict XVI, has died at the age of 95. He led the Catholic Church from 2005 until 2013 when he became the first Pope to resign for 600 years. The head of the Catholic Church in England and Wales said he was one of the great theologians of the 20th century and praised his gentleness and the perceptiveness of his mind. Pope Benedict will lie in state from tomorrow until his funeral on Thursday. Jack Valero is from Catholic Voices UK and joins me now on the show. Morning, Jack. Happy New Year. Good morning. Nice and early, yes. <laughs> it really is nice and early. Yes. Uh, thank you very much for joining me on the show. Um, just explain what Catholic Voices UK is and why it was set up. Yes, it's a group of lay people, ordinary people, men and women, uh, explaining uh, Catholic uh, things or controversies on media. And it was set up, in fact, in 2010 when Pope Benedict was coming to, the, to Britain because there was a, a perception that he was uh, old-fashioned and not in tune with British values and all that, which turned out to be not the case when he came. People thought uh, saw that he was a very holy man, very much open to dialogue and to ideas and so on. But we, we thought there was a need to explain um, these controversies that arose with to do with his visit to Britain, which was really successful. So we we, we were about 20 people and we um, trained, we, we found out about the controversies and the answers and so on. And, and then we were on TV and, and, and radio programs, um, about 100 programs that, during those four days of the visit, explaining many things to the British public. But we were really happy to know, to see the reception he got here, you know. Uh, and and how they they thought perhaps he was a very strict and stern person, and when he arrived, they realized he was like a grandfather. You know, he mm. he he loved cats. He 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 really related well to people, and and he was lovely, and he had lots of good ideas that we listened to. So his visit was was back in 2010. Did you get the chance to meet him? I, I didn't meet him personally, although some people of the group did meet, meet mm. him. I mean, we were just busy going around from one place to another. But I did listen to him a lot yeah. those days. And, and I, I, I felt I really became very close to him. I, I was very involved with the beatification of Cardinal Newman, which is the, the thing he came to do in 2010 in Birmingham. Cardinal Newman was an Englishman of the 19th century who was very influential then. And and also another person who was very open to new ideas, and uh, and very influential because you know Pope Benedict uh, has been a hugely influential figure in in the Catholic Church, even from his when he was a thirty you know a priest in his early thirties, and he spoke in in what Catholics call the Second Vatican Council in the nineteen sixties. He was really nobody, but he gave these speeches to to all the bishops. Uh, which were really influential. And from then on, throughout the pontificate of Pope uh, John Paul and his own, and through the hundreds of books and, uh, and, and papers he has written, he has had a huge influence in the Catholic Church, in theology, as, as Cardinal Nichols said, but, but in many, many areas of the Church. So because he was so influential... What was his visit here in 2010? What was that like for Catholics here? Well, that was very, very good. I mean, to feel that we were we were part of of, of the Catholic Church and part of the country. I I, um, I remember particularly he he had these various meetings. For example, one in in Westminster Hall with all the the prime ministers and and the authorities in civil society and so on, all the important people of the country. Two thousand of them. I wasn't there, but he he spoke about um, faith and reason, and you know how faith was a very reasonable thing, and how he, his main thing was religion is not a problem for legislators to solve, but a vital contribution to the dialogue, you know, to the national conversation. And he was having that conversation with people, you know, five former prime ministers were there, and lots of other important people of all religions and none. And having that conversation, and uh, and and Catholics felt well. Here's somebody who can represent us, who speaks in a way that's accessible, that is 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 good, and and people can understand, and is not at all like the the parody that 
people were saying before he arrived, you know. Mm. So it was a very, and, and then in Hyde Park, when when we were there in the middle of London praying and, and uh, feeling part of the, of the country, and, and it was such a great diversity of people of all colours and races meeting there in Hyde Park with the Pope, thinking, well, the Catholic Church is it's really Catholic. It's really sort of, for every, anyone, uh, rich and poor, young and old, uh, different, different colors and shapes and sizes and, and, uh, and felt, and felt really part of Britain as well, you know, um, so, so it was really good. He, his trip, which, uh, threatened to be a bit of a, of a problem or controversy turned out to be really, really good and, and helpful for, for the church. Mm. And I think my one last question to you then is how will you remember him? Well, I, I I have read a lot of his stuff, and I also really feel very moved. Um, I, yesterday, I read his spiritual um, legacy, his his testament, he, which he, which published by the Vatican, where he was giving thanks to his parents and to his co-workers, and and you have here a man who's extremely clever, one of the main best minds of the 20th century, being really humble. And when he was elected, he said. Uh, the, the cardinals have elected a humble servant in the Lord's vineyard to work. So I would always remember him as somebody who was really talented, but really humble at the same time, approachable, ordinary person who was interested in every person he met. And, and that is very moving. Jack, thank you very much for coming on the show this morning. I really do appreciate it, given it's New Year's Day as well. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Happy New Bye-bye. Year. Uh, Jack Valero from Catholic Voices UK, which was set up to prepare for Pope Benedict XVI's visit to the UK back in 20. 20-